Yo, yo, yo. It's JB in the building. How you feeling? This is your reminder to start and finish one thing at a time. Start one thing at a time and finish one thing at a time. I know you have so many ideas. You have so many different avenues and destinations that you want to arrive at very quickly. Okay? But trust me when I say you need to stop multitasking. Putting your focus on five to ten different tasks at a time, you are losing juice. You are losing battery instead of gaining juice. You see? You're not even getting 5% better in the five to ten tasks that you're doing. You're depreciating your energy. That's like leaving your car running through the night. Why would you do that? Turn your car off. Turn your lights off. Get some rest. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I get the process in which we conceptualize multitasking. When I was in grade school and middle school, I always focused on doing so many different things at once, thinking that I'm being productive. Whole time, I'm not, right? But what really changed is, of course, me writing down my ideas. But while I was multitasking so much and I was putting my attention on so many different hobbies and side quests, what I was doing is taking my attention away from the main goal, from the main goal I need to score. So I thought to myself, all right, how much have I gotten done doing this? How much have I gotten done doing this? How much have I gotten done doing this? And I would do this with all the categories in which I would be multitasking in, right? You need to say no. That's a lot of y'all issue. You have a very difficult time saying no to people. No, I'm not going there. No, I'm not doing that. No, I'm going to call y'all later. I'm going to text y'all later. I'm not doing that. You can tell them where you're going to be. You can tell them where you, what you're going to do or not. But you need to have your main goal in the forefront of your life. That is your magnet. Let your goal be your magnet and you just doing everything in your power with that goal to get closer and connect. That's the main focus. I'm going to tell you all one thing I experienced while multitasking, right? When I was multitasking so much, I always put other people's goals over mine. I wanted them to win because I knew I was going to win regardless. I, I knew I had it in me. I knew I was going to to push through and have that. I've, I've always had strong fortitude and, and strong determination when it comes to my goals. But I wanted to instill that into my friends and family and so forth, right? While doing that, I'm making a blueprint for their blueprint and I'm still wanting to focus on my blueprint and theirs, and theirs, and that. That's, that's too much. I'm putting too much on my plate that I don't need. I don't need that. You don't need that. So once I learn to stop myself in my tracks, yes, I can give advice. Yes, I can give words of encouragement, words of wisdom, some knowledge and some intellect. Of course I can. I will do that. But over extending myself, making your goals, my goals, <laughs> putting your goals on my to-do list over mine, I'm not doing that. You shouldn't either. And if they are your friend, if they are your girlfriend, your spouse, family, they should more than understand. They should more than conceptualize that. Yes, do what is right for you. If they truly want you to succeed, guess what? They are going to push you there. But a lot of times, they don't want you to succeed further than them because then you can't give them that type of knowledge anymore because you're expanding. You're expanding your knowledge and reaching your magnet that you got to connect to. Your magnet is over there. 
their magnet is all the way this way in the same spot for 10 plus 30, 20 plus years. It's been in the same place. So starting one task at a time and finishing one task at a time is so important. Watch this, right? What if I told y'all that in 40 days, you will have this waiting for you. You will have your goal, your ideal goal. You will have your dream life right in front of you in 40 days. All you had to do was one thing for 40 days, nothing else. Would you sacrifice everything for that one goal? Damn right you would if you got a conscience. Damn right you would. This is the inner making of somebody who prioritizes their success. When you prioritize your success and you have that in the forefront of your mind, <laughs> unstoppable. Having so many different tasks is a ultimate dopamine rush. That's like waking up at 11 o'clock. The first, you don't brush your teeth. You don't wash your face. You don't get the coal out your eyes. You don't do nothing. No cold shower. No shower, no AM early shower. None of that. You wake up, you check your phone, you be on your phone scrolling for two hours and you go in your cabinet, get some chips, some candy. Next thing you know, it's two o'clock. You haven't ate no real food. Your moods are up and down. You yawning at 3 p.m. You're lazy. You're tired fast. You fatigue. You slow. You lethargic. And you lethargic and slow in the mind. How many times have you done something and you just forget where you were? You forget what you were doing. It happens all the time because you are too busy convoluting and compacting your mind with so many different tasks. Do one at a time. If I am solely focused on making a video, guess where I'm at? Right here, no phone, no other tabs, no other computers, laptops open. I'm here in the moment, present, making videos. If I'm reading, my phone is on do not disturb work mode. I'm not checking it. My phone is actually across the room, on the floor. I do that all the time. I have another desk over there. I throw my phone across the room and I'm reading. At this point, I don't time how long I read. I could be reading for two hours. If I'm going for a walk, most cases, I'm not bringing my phone. I'm not listening to no music. I'm in the moment walking, breathing, feeling the sun on my skin, feeling the sun on my crown chakra, on my third eye. I'm feeling the energy and the atmosphere of me being outside in nature. You see, that's doing one thing at a time. But ain't nothing wrong with this. But if you got an audio book and somebody call you in the middle, uh, in the middle of your audio book while you walking and you jogging and you getting your steps in and you looking at your Apple Watch to see how many steps you got and you thinking about work that you got at one, you got a work meeting at 1 p.m., it's too much. It's too much. It's too much going on. You do not have the wherewithal to be in the now because you are so focused on a deranged mental construct of a result that's just so far it's just so it's a it's far ahead of you <laughs> it's far ahead of you like you don't know what's all the way down there so why worry about it why stress about it you see what i'm saying y'all so start one task at a time and that's what you focus on do your best to stop multitasking because trust me, it is eroding your brain. You are becoming slower. Can't you tell? Your thought patterns. How you speak to people. How witty you used to be. How creative you used to be. Now it's kind of, oh, so hold on. 
Your vocabulary is slow. It's lacking. This is what it come with. Because doing so much tightens your ability to think outside the box. I like your boy, man. It's JB. And I'm out.